What's going on guys? Mitch here and welcome back to Project S-Works Tarmac SL7. So as you can probably see here, bikes coming together, got a couple other things to throw on, some rotors, uh, chain and a kind of final tune. And it dawned on me, you know what? I still haven't put a seat on this bike. So what are we going to do about that guys? What are we going to do? Hmm. Well, I think we are going to put a seat on it. So Enter this guy. This is the S-Works uh, Power Mirror. Super, super popular saddle. Uh, I love it. I've had it on a couple different bikes, as you can kind of see. And I've got the uh, alloy rail version. So uh, alloy rail being this part here, it is alloy, which is awesome. Saves a little bit of cash. Although the base part here is plastic instead of this uh, full carbon which I think looks really sharp. But anyway, we're gonna put this on the bike here and uh, I have used this exact saddle, just so you guys are aware. So it might not look super fancy new, but uh, as I say, every, every custom build usually has a couple of used parts on it that are preference based. So I'm gonna show you how to put this guy on it and uh, keep on moving through the uh, segments here. So let's get started. All right, so we've got a nice little seat post uh, right here. So to start off, we're going to loosen this guy off. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, on the S-Works, just make sure that we are actually using the clamps that say carbon. Uh, carbon rail versus alloy rail. And I will show that uh, hopefully here. I may not actually have to take all this off, but uh, you can see it on the bottom here. Carbon rail. I have made a video on this in the past as well, just for reference. So instead of taking this whole thing off, let's just loosen it down. Uh, or is it going to come off? Okay, never mind. It's going to come off. Okay, so let's show you this. So, see here, it says carbon rail. Well, the one for an alloy post will say alloy rail. So make sure you're using carbon rail because uh, on the uh, on the uh, Power S Works mirror, it is a I think seven by nine or seven by ten mil. So it's an oval rail versus um, round and uh, if you clamp down a round rail it's, uh, or, or if you clamp down an oval rail and a round clamp you're gonna have a bad time. You're pizzaing when you should be french frying. Alright so let's take this uh, seat right here as discussed. So our rails are pretty loosened off already so we should be able to get this in here without too much effort. Get it nice and loose, there we go. And tighten the middle. Make sure we're not stripping or overthreading or anything like that. There we go. Um, I'll deal with uh, the actual setup on this after the fact as well. So to, so to start here, like I said, we now that we have the clamp kind of on, you can rotate it, move the seat up and down. I will deal with that more later. Um, but for now, we're going to put it in the center. In fact, I think I move it ahead a little bit. I'd have to go back to see where I like it and do some measurements, but that'll at least put it in the ballpark. All right, so the saddle's all on and we're laughing. Other than uh, right now, I think the saddle's way too high in the frame, but that's just because it's in the stand and I've been building it that way. So I will go ahead and measure this up and kind of set everything how we want it. But uh, yeah. Good to go, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, until next week, we'll keep the project rolling. Cheers, guys. See you later.